I want to share with you a fabulous way to earn reputation in Microtech. Most likely, this is an oversight by the devs, so this is something that I believe will be readjusted potentially in the near future. Let's open up our Moby glasses and I will show you exactly what I am talking about. Here we are in the rep section under Microtech. As you see, I am barely within the Junior Security Contractor section. It would appear that the wildlife missions at Microtech give you a really good reputation bonus. When you first start, you only get these wildlife control missions. But after you do a couple, you will unlock the wildlife population for 6k and then soon after you will unlock wildlife population adjustment let's go ahead and grab these now the base mission is to exterminate 15 copion the 6k mission is to exterminate marix and copion the last mission is to exterminate marix tundra copions and forest copions now this is where it gets good. Every time you kill a Copion in America, it counts for each of the missions. And as I stated earlier, the reputation you gain from completing these missions is sizable. Last night I had burned through security training in just about an hour. So I'm curious now to see how well the rep gains under the junior security contractor. So let's go test that out. While there's a lot of ships that work well for this, I prefer to use the Banyu Defender. To easily complete these missions, I prefer a ship that's small, quick to get in and out, and preferably has inside space so that you can team up with a friend. One of the nice things about the Banyu Defender is, is that the entrance is the front of the ship, so it's easy to point your friend towards the Copion or the Marix. While we are running solo today, I'm still going to use the Banyu Defender. Now, this is the first time I'm going to try the 10k mission that includes the Tundra Copion. But for the 5k and the 6k mission, Aster's Clearing has been the best location. In the mountain ridges, you will find the Merix, and all throughout the valley, you will find Copion. So while we may not be able to finish the 10k mission, we're going to go to Aster's Clearing and see how much the 5k and the 6k will pay out in rep. But once again, for junior security, we're barely within the graph. So let's go check that out. When you're hunting for Merix or Copion, you're looking for this gray V. If it's a singular V like this, it could be a Copion, but most likely they are Merix. We just got the objective complete on the Merix. Opening up my contracts, you will see that I actually completed it on both the 10K and the 6K. Now let's hunt the Copion. We're going to move out of the mountaintops and into the valley to look for the Copion. Since each Copion has its own V indicator, they will be blurred together like that. As you see, we've completed two of the three missions. I don't know good location as of yet to search for the Tundra Copion. I'm going to try to see if I can find some in a moment. But with those two other missions done, let's see how much rep we gained. Look at that. We were barely in Junior Security Contractor and just completing those two missions jumped us that big chunk. So you see, even if you do not finish the 10K mission, the 5 and the 6K missions are wonderful for rep. I want to once again remind you that I do believe that this is an oversight on CIG's part and that this will be changed probably sooner than later. So good luck out there and get your rep while you can. Did we come across some finally?
Holy cow, we finally found some. All right, this is currently where we're at when we finally found some tundra. It's time for another giveaway question for your chance to win a Drake Cutter starter package. Using the numerical keys only, answer the question of how many copions you need to kill to complete the 5k mission. Do not spell out the answer, only use the number keys. Those will be the entries that count in the comments down below in this video. Even though we found that one little grouping of Tundra Copion, I've spent a lot of time after that searching this whole area and there were, seems to be no more Tundra Copion. Unfortunately, I'm not able to see how well the rep is for the 10K mission. I will highly recommend not to do the 10K mission because unless things change and we can find a specific spot to find the Tundra Copion, it is not worth your time hunting. I've spent hours going to different parts of Microtech and only found four. If I can find a reliable source for Tundra Copion, I will inform you in the future. But for now, that's where I leave you, adventurers, and I will see you in the next video. Go get your rep, and bye bye